Hi everyone. So this video is meant to show you how to download files from the websites that we've discussed earlier in this presentation. Specifically with this example, we'll be using Thingiverse. So I've already uh, gone onto the website here, thingiverse.com. This is a community-driven website. People are able to upload their prints and share them. And in turn, people comment, share feedback, provide suggestions for improvement and whatnot. So I highly recommend that you sign in and join. I'm not signed in for this example, but um, I'm going to go straight into searching for an item. In this case, uh, like in our presentation, we were looking for a Yoda bust. We actually made a Yoda bust, so I'm going to go ahead and look for that. Use their simple um, search bar here. Once we have our matching results, we can see how many items are available. 26 matching results here, and it even lists it for us by things, users, groups, apps, and whatnot. Again, since the community is still growing, you won't see many of the, the items filtered by these categories, but nonetheless, it's there. I already have an example I liked from earlier uh, when I was reviewing this. And uh, once I click on that item that I'm interested in, I can see a variety of information that's helpful to me. I can see that this was published in March of 2014 by Mustang Dave. Um, Mustang Dave has a strong following. I see that this file's been here long enough that there's plenty of likes, people have collected it, people have commented, and more importantly, I can see that people have already made or at least 50 people have commented that they've made it and they've uploaded their results. So you can see how this compares to either your print or it kind of gives you an idea of what you can expect once you're printing. So all useful things. Another useful feature, most items will have what they call thingy view and each website has their own iteration of this. So they'll have their proprietary view. Um, but this is called thingy view. So I'll go ahead and click on this. And uh, before, make it a little useful. I can actually toggle large view and then click on thingy view and this will allow me to manipulate the file so that I can look at it more closely. I can zoom in and I can determine whether or not I like the quality of this image and whether it suits the needs I have for this particular project. You can see that this is very this is very um, attentive to detail. You can actually zoom in here and look at all the detail that went into modeling this particular Yoda. I like the collar. Looks good. So I'm going to go ahead and close view here and determine that this is definitely something I want to download. So once I'm ready to download, I simply go to this large blue button here which says download all files and you'll see that files vary in length and quantity so they'll give you different options whether scaled up, scaled down or if your printer is small on the smaller side you can actually print this in uh, multiple parts so you can glue them together but this particular image is rather small so I'll go ahead and click download all files you'll see that by default it goes to your downloads bar you can always open um, the item in that folder or you can do, uh, double click on it and open the folder. You can transfer it to your desktop or wherever you have but one of the things I strongly recommend is creating a unique folder that you identify as your 3D print file. So in this case I have my 3D print file here. I dump it in here and um, it'd be available for me whenever I'm ready to slice it or use the software to process the item for 3D printing. So this concludes the acquisition part of the file and uh, we're going to go ahead and stop the video now and we'll continue on the second video with how to process the image.